So if you've never tried pan-fried Napa cabbage leaves, you must try this. It is juicy, crunchy, with minimal, minimal amount of batter, but it is so delicious. Yep, that's what we're making today. Pan-fried Napa cabbage leaves. And we're also making the dipping sauce, which is a must. Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. So for those of you that are new to Modern Pepper, Modern Pepper channel offers Korean cooking lessons for authentic Korean dishes as well as Korean fusion dishes. So please do consider subscribing. Look at that. Pork belly kimchi stew that is out of this world. This pork belly has been fermenting for two weeks with the kimchi that I made two weeks ago. It is super tender. OMG, it's so good. You don't want to miss out. And look at the broth. Ta-da! So this is your wilted Napa cabbage leaf that's on the exterior. And you definitely don't want to throw those away. They're definitely called the uglies, but the uglies are very, very good to make pan-fried Napa cabbage leaves that are crunchy and juicy. And guess what? It has very, very little batter on it, so you know I feel less guilty eating it, and it's very, very good. It's a very, very good snack, and it's actually perfect for my vegan friends. Look, it's all wilted. <laughs> it's not as wrinkly as my face, obviously. <laughs> God, I hope so. Let's first make our soy sauce dipping sauce, which is uber duper easy to make. And you definitely need this dipping sauce to have with our delicious, crunchy, pan-fried Napa cabbage leaves. I have equal parts of water and soy sauce. This is one tablespoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of brown rice vinegar, a tiny drizzle of sesame oil, and just a sprinkle of sesame seeds. And this part is optional. I have some Korean red pepper flakes called gochugaru, if you want to add a little bit of that spicy taste. You have to taste the sauce, right? You have to make sure you like it. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's tangy and just the right amount of saltiness from the soy sauce because we kind of thinned it out with water. And then that creamy essence taste of sesame oil. So good. And then the gochugaru that we added is very, very minimal. So you can't even taste the spiciness, but it does add a little taste of spiciness in your mouth. Mm. This is gonna be good. Now, right. after you wash these, you wanna make sure you pat it down dry to get rid of any excess water and you want to cut the ends off. For this part that's kind of hard and still very stiff, what you could do is just make little slits like that so it's easier when we pan fry it later. Now we need some Korean pancake batter mix. And no, this is not for your blueberry pancake and it's called puchim karu. Puchim means pan fried patties and karu means powder. This is to make savory Korean pancakes and you can find us at any Korean grocery store or you could order them online. So make sure to check out my description box below because I'll have all the affiliate links for the ingredients that we're using today. So if you use any of those links to purchase anything, that means that I get a small tiny commission. So I want to say thank you in advance. But you could also make this batter at home. So it's really easy to make. I mean, for my gluten-free friends, you could use potato flour too. So if you're interested in making this batter at home, make sure to go to my blog and I'll have the blog link in the description box below. So I'm going to add one cup of our batter mix. And then we're going to slowly add half a cup of water. And then we're going to add another half a cup of water. We're going to add a quarter cup of water. So all together, that's one cup and a quarter cup of water. And the consistency we're looking for is this kind of runny. You don't want it too thick and you run your finger through it. You just should have a clean line. Hello. <laughs> So you need a frying pan that's super big, like big enough so that you could put the entire leaf of the Napa cabbage. So this one is ginormous. Look. <laughs> look, look how big it is. It's so big. Preheat your frying pan on super high heat for about a minute. Lower your heat to medium. Add about two tablespoons of olive oil. We want to go in from this angle, put it through like this, and then 
grab it from this end. Make sure the leaves are covered. And then I want you to make sure you kind of shake off the excess batter. Use a spoon to kind of scrape off the excess batter on both sides. Make sure to press it down. It took all about a minute, a minute and a half for the batter to kind of turn this nice and golden brown. And that's it. You just want to make sure it's the same on the other side and it's easy as that. All right, this one's done. Now, here's a tip for you. So in between frying each leaf, you wanna take a piece of wet paper towel and wipe off these little particles right here. Because if you leave this in the pan, they'll continue cooking and it'll turn black. And the last thing you wanna have is black spotty fried dough batter on your pan fried leaves. Add some more oil and continue cooking the rest of your leaves. You want to cut it and eat it as soon as possible. I'm just going to put one in my mouth just to make sure it's good. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. Mmm, so good. So I'm going to start with the green leafy part of the leaf. It's just extra crunchy because it's thin. I'm going to put it in the soy sauce, dipping sauce that we made. Bon appetit. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's so good. It's crunchy, but it still has a little bit of that batter, so it just gives it a nice, like, starchy taste. Mm. And the soy sauce, it adds that salty taste, and it has a little bit of that tangy, vinegary taste. I'm gonna take the middle part where it has a little bit more batter. So this is one of those things you gotta eat it when it comes off the frying pan. Like, if you let it sit around for five minutes, not so great. You gotta eat it when it's hot. Mm. This one has a little bit more extra batter on it. Mm. But it's so light. All right, now I'm gonna grab the white part of the Napa cabbage leaf where it's all just of that core white part that's super crunchy. Mm. Mm. It's just like, almost like eating a salad. <gasps> yes. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I'm going to give you a bite of this. So open your mouth, say ah, and I want you to check out the rest of these videos here of different Korean pancakes that you can try at home. So say ah, open your mouth. <laughs>